Hey guys, Mitch here. Welcome back to the series, the top 10 best Cydia tweaks for the year 2013. Now all the tweaks will come from 2013, and this is part one of the series containing tweaks from both January and February. If you missed 2012's top Cydia tweaks, I highly recommend that you check that video out along with the top iOS 6 Cydia tweaks as well. So without any further ado, let's dive in. The first tweak is known as Power Music Mini Player. Now this allows you to enhance your music experience by adding a quick music keeper to both the lock screen and the notification center. At the top you will see the music player at the top left and clicking on it will allow you to see the different albums choosing your different media type that you would wish. Now you also have different gestures from the lock screen that allow you to play your music by just double tapping or have the ability to move on to the next track or previous track by just swiping over to the left or to the right. Now you also have capabilities of changing the audio by just swiping up or down to either increase it or decrease it. Now within your notification center it will add the new iTunes little mini banner here by showing your volume controls, the iTunes artwork, along with the more option that will bring down the albums allowing you to play your music from your notification center in a faster way. Switcher animation is a simple jailbreak tweak that allows you to change the animation from flip to fade. So as you navigate throughout the different apps on your iOS device, the animation will change from that flip to that fade animation. Full force for the iPhone and screen extender are both jailbreak tweaks that allow you to extend older iOS apps to fit the iPhone 5 and the iPod Touch 5th generation's new screen size. Barrel, for instance, will still have the black bars at the top and bottom because it has not been updated yet. But going into the settings and turning on that specific app, killing it in the switcher, will now show that it will take in consideration the 4-inch screen size. OXO was released in late 2012, but we are including it in our 2013 edition. Now this will take a reimagined look at your iOS task switcher by showing you a preview along with a new addition to different toggles and improved music controls. Now you can get different themes for your different toggles including OXO NC like which I am currently running which will give you that notification center like NC settings look to the different toggles on your iOS device. More Icons is a low overhead utility that allows you to add more rows and columns to your springboard without the need of a respring. Within the settings in the orientation portrait mode, you can go ahead and customize the row and columns from 1 to 12 along with the dock icons as well. So changing these numbers will not require a respring and once you have them to your liking you can go back to your springboard and then just drag in the new icons to the different rows or columns. Now another jailbreak tweak known as Springtimize 2 will allow you to do the same action adding the different rows and columns and you can also add the different dock orientation in either that concave or that convex mode. Tap unlock is a simple jailbreak tweak that replaces the slider saying slide to unlock with a button simply saying tap to unlock and clicking it will simply unlock your device like normal. Percent hooks law changes all animations to a springy like feeling on your iOS device. Now if you are familiar what hooks law is in the physics term, you will understand the premises of this jailbreak tweak. So going in and without the different apps on my device, we'll see that everything is kind of that springy like feeling and the icons will bounce as they will open up faster and you can customize those within the settings. Photo filters allows you to add Instagram like effects for stock camera and photo apps. Within each photo you will have a new filters option and at the top it will unveil the 10 to 15 like new animations or different effects at the bottom where you can choose and see a nice preview as it will overlay on top of the icon. Now this also supports blur which is movable and scalable so once you have your animation to your liking you can go ahead and click on the blur at the top and you can move that around and using two fingers you can scale that and move that as well. Now once you have it you can go ahead and save it and it will save as an additional photo. Thanks for watching part 1 of 2013 City of Tweaks and be sure to hit that subscribe button and check out the other videos at the end of the